what do we look at? Uh, the black oh, okay. camera lenses, okay? You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey everyone, it's Annette Green here. Uh, I am here with my mom because it's Mother's Day and we're gonna do week 19 right here at my parents' house. You wanna say something, mom? Hello guys, I got a good daughter here. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna change the camera up. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do and mom's gonna assist. You ready? I am ready. Okay. Okay, so if you are new here and you're joining me for the first time, welcome. This is my weekly 2023 uh, memory keeping journal or planner. I'm using the vintage black planner from Elizabeth Craft Designs. And each week I take one page out of my planner to document that week. And so we are all the way back here on week 19. And it's Mother's Day weekend here in the States. So that's what I'm gonna work on right here in my page. Okay, and I appreciate your patience with the lighting. We have uh, quite the rig you can kind of see right here. We have a couple of games stacked up and a trash can upside down. <laughs> and mom's over here holding a lamp. So uh, it's a little different this time than normal, so thank you. Uh, but because I'm doing this uh, as I'm traveling, of course, I had to kind of make a plan at home in my craft room before I got here. So I knew ahead of time, I don't have a lot of space to take a ton of photos. Uh, I was teaching at Wicked Papers in Merritt Island, a store. We had two different classes on two different days. And so I knew I was gonna take a class picture of everyone here and another group picture the next day here and then a picture of mom and me. So I went to all my planner dies and I found this oldie but goodie. I believe it's called, um, and normally I would have it right here to show you exactly, but I think it's called the photo planner page. Somebody can check me on that and see if that's right. But each one of these photo squares is about uh, two and a half inches. And so I have already gone through and printed my photos at two and five eighths, just to give me a little bit extra to glue to the back side of these little photo frames. Okay, so I have some other elements here already prepared back at home. And of course the 19 is uh, a must. We do number every week. So that's from the stitched letters and numbers set. And then from, uh, I believe it's one of the very newest sets from Esther from a stamp set is the Craft Studio series. Uh, this has been stamped crafting on a piece of like ivory cardstock in black. So we have that and we have our 19. And there's also this great die cut pair of scissors, which I have cut in silver cardstock and then colored the handles in red. And I have a little heart here. I have one of my lace borders here. And then I also have these words and I can't remember. I think these might be from David's newest set. I will put everything in the links below just to verify I get everything right for you. Okay, so I've cut out a few little phrases for my three different photos and now I'm kind of ready to go here. Okay, so before I go to put this on the page, of course, I have to get my photos underneath these spaces here. And so let's take a look. You do see that this center photo sort of overlaps the other two photos. So you can't start at the top. You definitely wanna start with your middle photo, which for me would be this one. And so I would glue this one in first and then I would either do the top or the bottom one. Okay, and you can see why. If I did the top one first and then I did the second one, you see that where we see that first photo sticking through that yeah. triangle area there? That doesn't it look overlaps, right. It overlaps. Yeah. That's right, so that's no good. So we definitely put the middle one first and then the top and bottom ones next. Now, these photos were printed on my parents' older printer. I'm not super happy with the quality, but I do wanted to, sh I wanted to show you everything. So I'm not gonna be tacking these down what I'm gonna do is just get this on here and slide those photos underneath there, build the rest of the page, and then when I go home, I'll reprint the photos and put in the real ones, but for now, they'll be just little placeholders. So I'm just getting this edge glued down. And what did you ask me, Mom? Something about, is this what we were doing in class? Oh, is this what you did with the girls at the uh, paper class the other day? Um, so this is, no, this is a planner page, but we did a similar type of thing, only we made four cards and a little notebook. Okay. Yeah, and we used new dies that I designed. So very, very similar, we just, it wasn't a planner. 
Okay, so knowing that we have uh, this down and the photos are not gonna be permanent right now, they're coming later, uh, I will just go ahead and maybe put just a tiny, tiny drop of glue in the middle and not even that heavy. Like I'm just gonna make it tacky and I'm gonna get my photos placed in there so I can lift those away later. And I think that's gonna be okay, we'll see. I'll let you know. Little tiny dot of glue. And we'll put this one because we don't have glue behind that one yet in the corner. We can do this. Sorry for my hands. We did have a lot of fun at Wicked Papers. It was like a reunion for me because I used to live down this way and have classes all the time in my house and have crops and so I got to see a lot of my old crafty friends again okay that's gonna work for placeholders okay so you get the idea right so are you gonna put something here to hold that down like a, a decorative piece of uh, I think that something? I will eventually I will I won't have to because I'll actually go under here with glue that's a good question oh, okay. I'll go under here with glue when I get my real photos and, and physically glue these down. Okay. But for now, we're just going to get other elements on here that, and I won't glue any of that portion down um, so I can get under there later and do that too. But that's a good question. Okay, so I think what we'll do next is we'll take my little lace border here and I think, I haven't decided which way I like it. So let me think on that and we'll get that on there. Which way gives more rooms for the holes to be Yeah, that's, a, that's exactly right. So I'm thinking maybe this way where they can get nice and close to the I holes. I think so too. Okay. Okay, Mom and I have been talking about a plan here. Uh, I have my little words cut out and I have a heart here. So I think what we'll do is put crafting in progress up here because, of course, that's what we're doing. And Mom has been looking at this one spot right here. Does bother everybody like mom? <laughs> We're thinking we can we can detract from that just open triangle space. Because honestly, I didn't see it. So if mom sees it, you're seeing it. And you might be thinking the same thing. Crafting in progress. We're gonna make go this direction. Okay, and then creative things, we're going to go this direction, right in this space, because right alongside the photo frames in this particular die is a little stitched rectangle area for this very purpose. You could journal there or put some cutout words like we're doing. Mm. And then we have lovely day. So has it been a lovely day, Mom? It's been great. Yeah. Uh, every, every day yeah, it's been great. It's been like a here. Mother's Day weekend, right? That's for sure. Last night we, what did we do? We went to a restaurant with all the family. We had a great time. My brother, my sister, my sister-in-law, my nephew. We were all there. We had really good food. Do we think the heart should just be like straight up and down or going with the words? What do you think? I'm kind of I can't thinking. see through your hands. I know, my hand's in the way, sorry. But the glue's drawing, so I just made that decision for you. Okay. <laughs> is that good? Yeah, that looks good. You like good. that? Yeah. Okay, cool. And so all we have left is our little crafting scanner bar here. Let's see. Uh, now, remember, I've got to peel these pictures up a little bit later. Yeah. So, but I don't want to cover anybody's faces. So I think I want to put originally I was going to put it this way. I could still do that. Yeah, better. You think that's better? It's a better fit. And then 19 is supposed to go over it. And we're not still not covering anybody's face, so that's right. okay, right? Right. Okay, well, let's do that. Okay, and so we have our 19. I just put a little glue here so I can still get under there later and change out those photos. And then the 19 kind of hangs over a little bit, which is kind of fun. And then I've got my cute little scissors. That's all I have left to go. Uh, I don't have any place for journaling, but I will, I'll probably sneak something in really small and say something about uh, seeing mom for Mother's Day and having a great time at class. Just some short little ditties. 
uh, mom, you have anything? Mom just said, by the way, when I cut between scenes here, she says, well, this is kind of fun, which I thought was wonderful. <laughs> I certainly find it fun. It's oh. amazing to watch Aww. since I have no art direction whatsoever <laughs> in my body. Uh, so. Guess what, mom? It's done. Cool. It's already done. That's very nice. So mom's over here holding the lamp. Let's see if we can get a good look at it. Looks pretty good, right? Okay, so we're going to put the camera back on our faces and say our goodbyes, but I hope you enjoyed the page. Uh, I'll be back, of course, next week with week 20. Okay, we're done. I'm going to put my page in my book. Week 19 is done. It goes over here. And I thank you for joining me and Mom. It was pretty fun, huh? It was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very cool. You going to start making planners now? No. But I'll watch you do them forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds like a deal. Okay. Well, thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. I hope you all have a good Mother's Day. Uh, maybe by the time you've seen this, it's already over, but I hope you did have a good one. So thanks again, everybody. I'll see you next week. Bye.